Hello viewer, welcome back. Uh, in my last video I said that my next project was going to be another segmented thing. Uh, I'll show you what I've done so far and try and explain roughly what it's going to be or what I hope it's going to be. It might be a load of rubbish. So, so far I've got a block of Sobrano and then uh, five layers of different rings the uh, one in the, on the top there is going to be the central different colours make it look a bit prettier uh, let's get it up to the camera so what I'm going to do is put that in the lathe hollow it out face off the top there because it's going to be another similar shape going on the top um, I hope I don't know what it's going to turn out like as I say it might be a load of rubbish but this is what I've done so far so I'll take it over to the lathe get it chucked up and start uh, putting a bit of shape in it Just knocking the rough corners off for now and now I'll just uh, hollow out the inside and face up the front of it. Okay, I'm just hollowing out the inside now. I'm using the carbide tipped cutter. Um, just get rid of all these rough edges. I'm taking my time, very gentle strokes because there's a lot of corners on here. Uh, so don't rush it. That's coming on nicely. That uh, carbide cutter's doing its job. I'll carry on with the inside and then I shall just face off the outside because there's another section that's got to be glued onto this eventually. So uh, I'll get back to you when I've finished the inside. Right, I'm just going to basically face off this now because this has got to be perfectly flat because the second half's got to be glued to it. So I'm just going to run up it with the, uh, I think, a parting tool just across the edge. I'll just set that up, that's it. Uh, 
that's got it, that's nice and smooth for glue in there so uh, I'll do a little bit more work to the inside and I'll see you later well I can't resist it while this uh, while I'm waiting for the other half to dry I'm starting to put a bit of shape on the outside now I'm still using the uh, carbide cutting tool I'll just do a few more passes nice and gentle so there's still quite a few angles on here you don't want it to catch so here we go That's coming on. Well, I've just been informed by my good lady wife that my dinner's ready, so I'll see you later. Bye for now. Right, I've had my dinner back again. I've put the, the other half into the chuck now, so I'm going to do a bit of shaping again, get the face nice and smooth, hollow out the inside, and we'll take it from there. <coughs> Just taking the rough corners off on the outside for now, and I'm going to carry on hollowing out the inside now. So uh, you've seen it all before. So I'll see you later. Okay, the next stage is to uh, attempt to glue the two halves together. <laughs> There's a reason I left the, uh, the hole in the one end. It's, there, you go, there you go. That's going to locate in the tailstock so I can bring the tailstock up hold it together until the glue's dry that's the plan anyway probably all go wrong but still Let's get some glue on I've put a piece of paper over the uh, lathe bed I don't want the glue dripping onto that I like to keep that as smooth as possible I'm going to put plenty of glue on and then uh, just leave it for a few hours might even leave it till tomorrow while I'm doing something else right if I put the paper the right way round trying to get the pattern lined up as well not that there's much of a pattern but still okay I'll leave that till tomorrow
I'm oh, sorry there wasn't much talking while I was doing that but uh, there's a lot of concentrating going on that's about it really I'll just uh, go through the sanding process sanding sealant and then wax and uh, when I take it off I'll uh, show you what it looks like if it hasn't fallen apart so see you in a bit and that's it uh, I don't know what you call it a pot, a vessel um, I don't know I'm pretty pleased with it. There's uh, a couple of little imperfections, which was my own fault when I was gluing up. But uh, on the whole, not too bad. Uh, not, a, not a lot to be said about it really. It's just a, an experiment, another something I've never tried before. I don't think I'll ever bother trying again. <laughs> but um, it worked, that's the main thing. So uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right then, that's about it for another day. Turned out all right in the end. My friend, uh, friend of mine asked me yesterday what I do when I'm not wood turning. So I told him I practice wood turning. I practice sharpening my tools, I practice on bits of scrap. Um, and the other day I practiced on a piece of oak, practicing some beads, and I ended up with Dumbledore's wand. Hello. Hello darling. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? I'm making another video look. I've got the camera running. Who's watching? Right, the viewer. You know. Is it Mike? I don't know. He, he could be watching I suppose. Is Chris listening? He could well be. Yeah, I don't I don't know who's on the other end, do I? Oh, oh. Oh, Can I sing you a song then? Hmm. I'm glad I made this now. Bye.